This is an EPCO tutorial for the Haynes & Company reproducing EPCO. Here we have our tracker bar. This you want to try not to touch with your fingers as it does not have finish uh, to protect it from oxidizing. So um, just try not to touch it too much. Here we have the power. Currently it's in the off position. On is this way off again. You can hear the system power on and off. This is the uh, forward and reverse. We have the take up spool here on the bottom. Now when it's in forward it won't go down by itself. It won't, it won't go forward without the motor being on. When it's in reverse this will freely move which will allow us then to use the roll and load it on here to these to the tab and then you want to roll it down a little bit which I'm going to demonstrate here in a moment. We also have the tempo indicator which coincides with the tempo. This particular roll is going to be using 80. Also you have controls here in the front. So you have expression and these are just for manual controls. If you're playing a regular 88 note roll and not an Ampico roll, so not something that says Ampico, but something that's just plain. You can use these controls to make it sound more realistic. And then also you have another tempo indicator. And then this right here is silent, so it allows the roll to move forward without making any sound. You have two more controls. In fact, I'm sorry, you have three more controls. We have the pedal on and off. You can pretty much always leave that on. That just says to, to use the pedaling mechanism on the roll. You have the automatic on and off. Now this is the one thing you're going to want to remember with an 88 note roll. So if it's not an Ampico roll and it's some other kind of roll, you're going to want to turn this off. That is going to close the extra holes on both sides of the tracker bar. So off for non-Ampico, on for Ampico. And that's going to allow all those holes there to coincide with the roll that's going to be coming down. And then you have repeat on and off. This just says at the end of the song, do you want it to rewind and turn off or do you want it to rewind turn, and then turn back on at the end and start the song over and over and over again. And then as soon as you don't want to hear the song anymore, you can either press it off or you can rewind it uh, by pushing it over to the right. So you have a couple of options. Uh, I like to leave it off usually because I like to change the song after each time, but if you do want to hear it over and over again, press it on on, and that'll uh, continue to play it, rewind it, replay it, rewind it, etc. So I'm gonna leave this off for you guys. Now we're gonna load up the roll. Get the roll out of the box here. So here we have the roll. We have a nice tab there. This roll is actually a recut, meaning it's newer paper, which you can see just by the color. Uh, it's spring loaded on the left hand side on this post that catches the hole at the end of the roll there. And you can see it move in and out. As we come over to here, we can see that roll and you can just slightly move it and you'll feel it engage. There's a, a little tab that sticks out and it engages the roll. You'll pretty much know right when you start to bring it down. And then remember, we wanted to have this in that free spinning rewind, which is over to the right. That's so that we can grab and connect this tab, which is uh, a lot easier to do when you have two hands. And here, I'll spin it down gently. This will also help you know whether or not the roll is actually on the spool properly or not, which here I see a little bit of bending. And uh, let's see here. No, we're good, we're aligned. So 
We're gonna come down. This says the name of the roll. It tells us our tempo should be around 90. So I'll move this over to 90 there. And we're ready to play. Once you can see that the paper has gone one full rotation around and it's completely wrapped, then you're okay to proceed. We need to put this into play. You can feel it engage. And then here is the on off. Turn it on. Enjoy the music. <laughs> piece of tape here. This shows the key lock. So when engaged, you can see all the keys lock. You can still hear the music. It's still playing the actual piano, but the keys are not moving. Open that up. So when the piano is delivered, this may or may not be engaged. So don't worry if the keys are stuck like this put a piece of tape here to remind you. Always feel free to open it up. Take a look. It's very, very neat what's going on inside. Now, if you want to be done listening to the song, we can put this in rewind. You'll see here. And since we turned off the repeat, it'll turn itself off. Just like that. Then you can go ahead and remove the roll the same way you put it on, just in the inverse. One more thing to mention is the piano will come with a chord. The cord will need to be plugged into the wall. There, it's on the on the back side, so uh, don't forget to have that plugged in before the piano is permanently placed in the position. There's not too much uh, else to think about on these. They're pretty simple. Uh, it is vintage, but um, you know it's been rebuilt so you can you can use it as much as you'd like in fact the more the merrier uh, keeps everything moving in the inside uh, the worst thing that can happen for a player piano is for it to sit without being used so you know teach teach anybody how to use it it's simple uh, also a lot of fun to sit down and play with the manual controls when you're using uh, non-player roles and just a reminder non-play non ampico roles excuse me you have to turn this automatic off. Otherwise, it's going to be using these holes and what it's going to do is is tell it the wrong information and the, the music is going to either rewind in the middle of play or it's going to sound a bit funky. So uh, something just to take note of. Otherwise, nothing else to worry about in here. Uh, this area is clear coated, so you can touch this freely. Um, you could always polish this out if you need to, but the paper does a really good job of keeping it clean as long as you don't touch it too much with your with your hands. Uh, every All the other brass components have been clear coated, uh, including the pedals. So, um, and then feel free to use it as a regular piano. It's a fantastic playing instrument. So uh, any questions, uh, please give us a call. Don't hesitate to ask. Uh, we can always produce another video for you. Enjoy. <laughs>